Hey, hello and welcome to another tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be making uh, uh, let's have a look on it okay so it's a simple setup of rain and we are having some splashes on the ground some water dripping out of the teapot it's fairly easy to do actually okay so let's make it from scratch now so okay so I'll delete it here we are in a scene, nothing fancy, just a teapot, plane, and this plane for generating our rains, rain generator. So, this is a ground plane, nothing fancy actually. So, hit 6 on a keyboard, right click, new, particle system, empty flow. So, this is our main tree, and first thing, I mean, quantity multiplier set the viewport value to 100% so we will get the actual result and actual number of particles when we are setting up our particle tree so again right click new birth event and birth simply connect it in birth in value until I want my particles and to stop until 200 frames and this is the amount so within the 200 frames 200 particles will be emitted so roughly one particle a frame but as we are dealing with the rain we'll go by rate which is per second and we want 200 particles to be generated per frame so just tell the system where to generate our particles so right click on the event append operator called position object drag it over the display and select the position object add by list and say rain generator ok so let's check out what we've got ok so we are getting our particles on a rain generator but they are not falling down because there is no gravity or any external force which is letting the particles to fall down usually the gravity does it so in uh, space warps go to forces and draw a gravity and the strength let's slow it down to 0.25 and give some little bit of decay So the gravity will come under the force. So right click, append, operator, force. By list, gravity, select. Now, as we can see, uh, particles are not colliding with either on ground, ground plane or on teapot. They're just getting through. So let's set deflectors so same in space warps deflectors and this deflector will be our crown plane the size depends on your scene so for now this much is okay okay and uh, u deflector is object based deflector so draw u deflector in property pick object click on it and click on the teapot so now our second geometry collider is teapot now first thing first select the ground collider set the bounce value to something like 0.45 give a little bit of variation about 55 percent chaos nearly 50 percent friction 65 percent and we are not dealing with inherent velocity uh, party, uh, ground is static so it's not going to make any sense so, uh, now select the ground uh, object based collider which is our teapot set the bounce rate a little bit low from the ground so something like 0.35 variation some chaos this is a larger friction the more the friction the more the sticky particle will so we'll get a drippy kind of effect with it so I'll choose 95% okay 
now again I'll hit the 6 key here I am in uh, my particle view again right click append and test collision so both the collision object will come under this collision and I just clicked on the by list and from the pop-up window I chose these two okay select so uh, both of this both of the colliders are selected and now let's play it okay we are getting several bounces over geometry and ground but as you can see it's not a splash it's they're just bouncing like a ball or something one particle and one splash it's not looking cool so what we'll do will tell the max to when an old particle hits the ground or tipa it should generate more than f five or six particles so it will look like a water drop actual actual water drop so there's a fancy test car uh, spawn so basically we are getting into a new event because in a first event after collision our old particles should spawn or create new particles once you click on the spawn you'll get this much of parameters and offspring is number of new particles so we'll set it to 8 say something higher 15 okay and uh, in inherited value is bouncing value so it will calculate the original speed of the first event and it will determine so at what speed it should bounce back so usually keep it half or give a little bit of variance of 25% and give a nice kind of 65% of divergence so new event will not look for these forces and any other things which are actually acting on older particles they are just independent so we'll need to create all again so just select the force press the shift key and drag it below the spawn say copy your instance it doesn't make any sense so for now it doesn't make any sense sometimes it does okay so we have gravity to our new particles but suddenly even we want our splashes to collide with the ground and object so so what we'll do is right click a pain test collision by list select both of them okay It's just a matter of playing values now. We are almost done. We are getting some subtle splashes and dripping. So, but the thing is, we are getting lots of particles which are not disappearing. But so, what we'll do is simply right click a pane operator called delete. So basically it will delete our particles by age so say after 10 frames with a variation of 2 I want my particles to die out so let's so let's check out what we got okay so we got some splashes just a matter of display now so quickly tweak it out click on display type ticks two dots okay we got we are getting a nice dripping effect even some splashes which are actually subtle so so i hope you have enjoyed so, goodbye.